Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives as we know them are over. What? Golly, we're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go Lola, before we get Milo. recognized. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well... Oh, I love that... that... Y your outfit, Lola. You're always doing your own thing, which, <laughs> you know, which I love. Yeah, this is... it's fun, right? I kept telling Lola we should have hung up with you guys more. Then why didn't you? You don't need me to go on each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman. Wing human. Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink, like right now. Come on, the table's right. It's here. Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry. This is my cousin, Katie. She's going to be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, never ever. Uh, I know now, but ever. Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. No, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink! Come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi. Is this... Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? It really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. In the same epic that the octopus got that eighth leg, finally. Yeah, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Do we want one? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does. And vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention! All skin bags enough have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. <laughs> okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. <laughs> life advice. Uh, generally just try not to... Uh... Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at the... I meant it when I said you were wonderful. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> Drinking pina coladas out of some cruise boat magician's navel. Yeah, she seemed a little, uh, sloopy. Sloopy? Sloppy Christ, I can't even say the damn. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you want to go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you crack me up, though. Yeah, Allison, I keep telling stupid Lola how fun parties are. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? Because I have. And all my teachers said I was very smart. No, totally. And like, what we think of as money is just like, just our projections of value. <clears throat> Can we help you with something? You're Dido. Milo. Milo, yes. 
You're the one that gave blood and then immediately threw up all over the auditorium in the annex. That... it wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that... that story just didn't go away, did it? Talk about a bad first day. First impressions matter a lot. Kappa Sigma gave you a nickname, right? The Recycler? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was. Nice catch it up. Have a great summer. Bye. That? Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shitlips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Let's... let's see. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go forth and show me how it's done. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects! Oh, I couldn't even tell those weren't... <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar. Forget the score, man. What about the sets? Hey, school chums. What are you drinking? <laughs> Something with alcohol, I can imagine. Uh-huh. I'm Lola. This is... Colonel Shitlips. We got it. Oh, come on. I... That was... Lola, did you say? Are you auditing a student or... shadowing some classes? And the school's not as good as the sites say, so... Yeah, fly around. Yeah, it's fine. I get it. Everybody blends together. Like you, right? I don't remember you specifically, just like everyone else that's exactly like you. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, well, good to see you guys. Keep it, keep it up. Bye, Lip Flaps. Bye, Ebola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. I sat next to that guy in at least four classes. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Uh, stop, the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Milo and or Lola, are you here? Fuck yeah, we're here. Milo and Lola in the house. What? Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegel. Uh, holy, holy shit! Uh, are, are you? Uh, oh my God! Your your skin! It, it's Lola. I. What? Is this a? <laughs> oh, look at this! They, this they... They, they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I... What is... <laughs> Look at his dumb face! They're so confused! It's hilarious! Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You wanna know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? <laughs> Mr. Madamantis! We were... 
assisting in the transition I don't between. I hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road, and you better double time it if you want to get in before close. D uh, d double double time it. It means do something twice as fast, which for you is probably still half speed. Whoa, now I'm impressed. Are you like three kids under there or one Bosnian? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? Th what? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the? I, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go get processed. I, I and the rest of you? Put all this crap you're, away. You're probably used to this, but I... We have a couple of questions. Wrong. You want the door there. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. Hey, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a... Remember when Alpha Phi said you want a date with Jessica Rabbit? Yeah, they spiked my coffee with LSD and I made out with a rose bush. But this isn't a prank, Lola. Nobody put VR lenses in our contacts. This is really happening. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We... We had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. And they can't get sent to hell if they babysat their neighbor's kids for free! Yeah, this feels like wine and sushi wrong. We should... We should, uh... Ask the processing station guy. Hopefully it's a person, and not like an automated ATM. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating. The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, can I get a witness? Just, this is wrong. Way wrong. And... And, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Sure. You, you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? You know that? It kind of makes it sound a little like you don't believe it. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment. 
where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? Tu t'appelles comment? No, neither of us are whoever you're talking about, so don't, like, hurt us, please. Wrong vocation, but don't worry, I'm not too insulted. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Hey, hey kids. Hey, you wanna buy rug? Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh, the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes? Here? Here? Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much... Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now, Lola, Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Anybody know this guy? Uh, I... My friends usually call me Milo. A little over-eager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This... okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Is there an Abby here? Abigail... Table two, okay, that's... this must be us. You know, it's funny. I kind of, I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just, I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. And we are in hell. How oh, is this not hitting me before? We are in hell and we are dead. Oh, Jesus Christ, Milo, I can't believe it. Get a grip, Lola. You were the rock. Don't make me the rock. Okay, I can't be the rock. I am not fine. How was I fine? This, this is insane. Literally, the worst thing that could possibly happen to us is happening to us right now. Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we, there has... there's been a mistake. We don't... we don't even know why or how we died, so... Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So, when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair... All of that garbage gets dumped like a red-headed boyfriend. So, okay, so... do you know how we died? I surely don't. No, sir, no, ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies. Okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder-suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag-team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, actually, it's hard to remember, but I want to say, yeah, I think I have. You think you have? Okay, cool. 
All right, Lola. Which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Closest, remember. Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have, that's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean, ugh. <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good job, is what I'd be saying if you'd made the shot since that was the test here. I'll just put you down as hands included, but questionable proficiency. <laughs> Lightning oh. round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Uh, whatever. Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Uh, uh tired. Milo, I mean, Lola, break! Like taking a break? Ho, ho, ho! What could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow, the sultan of revulsion, the drain on your brain, that pebble in your shoe you just can't get out! I give you your personal demon! Tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It, it's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? Uh, I'm so sorry, little lady, I didn't see you there. But, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Warnborn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunk mates. You're hungry. I'm hungry, you're sad, I'm... I mean, that means I'm doing my job. <laughs> yeah, hi. Oh, hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados, what does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Office hours? Do we, do people get like time off? Hey, Norma Ray, it ain't for the people, it's for the demons. You think getting whipped for 10 hours is hard? Try swinging the cat of nine tails all the live long day. You'll pray to trade seats. Abigail Cunningham. Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Oh my god, Milo, she's. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. He knows. Milo, this is it. Okay, this is, we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even? Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. 
Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun. See you later. I'm going to get drunk. Wait, what was our crime? Our, uh, our sin? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry. You'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. We're, um, sorry? We didn't know we were supposed to tell you anything. We just, we just got here. I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Fligius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, a uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Yeah, you, you got it. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, home, topside, earth, if, if that's, if, if that's possible. Home, hmm, the props assist the house until the house is built. Yeah, doctors do warn you that you don't get to take the drapes when that fastball catches the side of your head. You're saying we're stuck here, she's saying we're stuck here. No, it's, it's just, it's a tall order, that's all. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first an Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? I promise I won't bite. You get the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. Ah, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your... Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know, but like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just, like, one big landmass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch-in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract. The abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story. Longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight. We're almost there.
Uh, okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so... And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first hey, a lizard. Hey, Sam! Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first a lizard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. So, like, people live here? Uh, well, nobody really lives in hell. We're all just kind of a part of it. It's like North Dakota, or those secret Chinese time travelers stuck in old Chicago. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should hey, know? excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okey smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. So we're gonna be all right in there, right? Sure. Just, uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. So, whenever you're ready. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just showing them around. We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. Relax. We'll get into your thing in a bit. Just follow me. Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. But, sir, we really need to talk to our friend. It's urgent. Well, you have any other part of forever to sort it out. Talk to her then. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, get him to invite us up. Get him to invite us up, yes. Let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. <laughs> oh, God. Too bitter. Hey, uh, Tommy. Or, uh, uh Thomas. I, I should probably... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. It's not the... the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? I'll still, you know... I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. 
<laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, you might want to pre-throw up. Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't two percent. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> Ah, uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Yes, it could be said that you are now unshackled from previous concerns of societal appropriateness. Sounds just like college. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu... What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning? At night? <laughs> yeah. You really should get an answering machine, man. Uh, excuse me, sir, but could you please... Remember that, that dance, man, when you scored all those points in the, uh, the, the wheelbarrow? What? Come on, guys. This is a prime opportunity here to really utilize your drunken spirit. You got a brass bull in you, so use it. You remember... Uh, Kristen? That's Milo. He... this is not... he's Are not... Are you still working at the House of Knives? Yeah, that hostess with the, uh... <laughs> she's down to party, right? Oh, for Lucifer's sake. Will you tell this moron to fuck off? What was that? What's her name? Hey, dickhead! Get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. T -t Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should... We're missing our chance, we should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. To Sam and, uh, her info. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Ugh, oh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. I mean, the... Uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not gonna get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it seriously? I was six. All right, never mind. Enjoy your uh, evening. I don't know why I said that part. I don't work here. Yeah, uh, we didn't exactly get them to cause a scene, did we? But if you want to keep poking the beehive... Uh, no, maybe we should try your thing. Talking to Tommy, just getting on the list. Whatever you want to do. What? 
Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my, my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournament. That's awesome. You know what would be even more awesome? If he could stop talking and never start again. Hey, now. Artesia's consumer of negligent fathers, that's not cool. Milo, right? You want to play around? It's really simple. <laughs> Easy to learn, hard to master, right? I've, uh, never played before. Is it like normal Pong? Because in that, the ball bounces back. You catch on quick. Did you die drinking bleach thinking it was just really painful water? Uh, look, it's easy. Lola, okay. You and me, Bright Eyes. I'm going to wreck you. Lola? Do you want to, uh... to play? Let's... let's put a... a pin in it for now. Come back when you have some hair on your balls. Hey, uh, Father Eater. Still want to play, my friend? I still want to annihilate your friend, yes. Rock and roll, bitch. Gather round, everyone. This chickadee thinks she's a rooster already. Well, I eat people who eat roosters for breakfast. Ooh. Hey, all right. You make more well-wishers with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. We really pride ourselves on our ability to trash talk down here. It's like, even if you lose, if you got in a few verbal jabs along the way, a few witty rejoinders... Yeah, so take your shot, shithead. Or we can just call each other names, you know, whichever's faster. Oh, are you chicken now? Should we bring out the oven, get a roast going? You got lucky in hell once a century, so I hope that was worth it. Don't miss. There we go. You can do it! Yeah, you already threw your life away, so you should be in practice. Shit or flush. Does your family know you're this bad at this? Because someone should tell them. Why, why bother? You'll probably just like miss. Come on. Come on, Lola. Someone put her out of her misery, Jesus. You, you're just bad at this. Enjoying this yet? Picture victory, and victory will be yours. Typical. Tula and threw it. Lola, let's go. Don't worry about it. Fuck this. Just throw the thing in the thing, Lola, and you'll have done what you should. You'll get it next time. Boom 
shakalaka. Boom. What did I tell you, huh? Humans are good for two things. Beating them in beer pong and eating their babies. A hey, dig for brains. I wasn't even trying. What do you think about that? What do I think about it? I think I can smell a liar when they're a cat fart away from me. It was uh, nice meeting you, Milo, Lola. <laughs> Work on those comebacks. I'll be around. Ah, oh, shit. We're getting freezed out. It's like Marcy's birthday all over again. Except without the E. coli outbreak. Let's just see what else is going on. Need a drink? Uh, sure. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this tomorrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Uh, the, uh, the, the last one. One there. bloody stool coming up for Milo here. He wants a big bloody stool. Girlie, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the human? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a joke, and people understand that. Most. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am, the million dollar man. God. Again. Yeah, but, hi. Danny, what do you want me to say, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry for making everyone think you wrote those messages in blood on your mom's bathroom mirror, all right? Don't laugh. This shit isn't funny. Ugh, never mind. I thought I had something to do with this. You don't. Giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, the drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that! Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll be <laughs> dirty! Hey, Van Dyke. Where's uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, that... The guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sirree, Bob. Never caught, though. But, but he was... He was so nice to us. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Hey, thanks for... for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe it's just been a year. Feels a lot shorter. And longer, you know? Oh, definitely! Was, uh, Companius not able to make it? I thought I saw him check yes on the Evite. It won't take long! How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> lady, gentlemen... Forney. Gah, that guy. 
You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Hey, we're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Okay, but why are you telling us this? I feel like I'm talking to my uncle about how great Brooklyn used to be. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um... But you're saying the only way out of hell is out-drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out-party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> 